you know, the front line always changes. You start hearing bullets fly over your head. <laughs> you go to try and find water, you got snipers shooting at you. You know, there's mortars falling. It's war. The first time I see him is in the middle of Raqqa, on the side of the street, with a huge beard and carrying a gun. And he's got a big smile on his face. And I tell him, <laughs> the first thing I say to him is, you're crazy and I'm leaving. And he was like, he said with a big smile on his face, go ahead, you can try, but you won't make it. My message to Trump, the puppet of the Jews. Allah has promised us victory and he has promised you defeat. This battle is not going to end in Raqqa or Mosul. It's going to end in your lands. By the will of Allah, we will have victory. So get ready, for the fighting has just begun. A lot of people will look at that video mm. and they will see Matthew as a threat mm. to Americans. Yeah. They will see a kid that knows how to use weapons, apparently, that maybe knows how to use a bomb. That's the way it's meant to look. It's propaganda. It's the way it's meant to look. Just like all these other videos that you see, life is so great, and you know, all these fruits and vegetables are available, and all these beautifully produced videos. It's all a lie. It's all propaganda. So February the 4th is when she sent me the email about her situation in Syria. Hey Lori, I really hope you can help me. This could be my last time online. Almost every day, five to ten bombs are dropped around us. The shock waves are insane. It rains shrapnel, everything from rocks to metal sheets to glass shards. Right now, I need to be able to sit and think what's best for my kids. I don't need anyone pushing me into making any decisions right now. You know, will the government try to take my kids away from me when I've done nothing but try to protect them? When here, they give them school, they give them food, they give them everything. I'll go there, I'm broke, I have nothing. There should be a plan to help families get, get out of Syria. I mean, should people be punished for, for going to Syria and doing what they're doing? Absolutely. But should we abandon them over there? No.